Hello, my name is Imani McCullough and I have only ever attended college online so I thought it would be fun for me to get up here and just introduce myself, just talk, a, just chat a bit so that way we could get to know each other a bit better. Um, as most of you on here, I am assuming that you have either only ever taken online courses, a bit of hybrid, or because of the current pandemic situation, you have switched over to online for quite a bit now. So I think it'll be nice for us both to just be able to get to know each other. I wanna talk a bit about my past and my upbringing, um, my present, and then hopefully my future. I am the third child out of six, but it has always felt like I have more siblings because growing up my parents had custody over a few of my cousins. So it always felt like I had extra siblings in the household even though they were my cousins. To this day, it it's kind of like a puzzling situation because we all grew up together. So um, there's points in time where we're like introducing each other to other people and they'll either say, oh, this is my little sister and I'll say to people, oh, this is my big brother. But then other times we're like, yeah, that's my cousin, that's my cousin. So it's kind of an interesting situation. They're my cousins slash siblings. <laughs> um, if you hear noise in the back, that is my guinea pig, Rosie. <laughs> third child out of six. But if you're counting my cousins, for a bit we had custody over four of them. So there's 10 of us, 10 of us kids in total. But for most of my life, it was sole custody over two cousins. But we've always had a full house, but it's always been so much fun. <laughs> um, never really a dull moment. We used to like roller skate in the house. And some at times we put like holes in the walls, but my mom, since we had a big family, would just keep plaster, <laughs> would just keep plaster on hand and she would just patch things up before my dad got home. Before the whole self-quarantine happened, I had two jobs and I attended college online, which I'm still doing the college online. For my two jobs, one of them was I worked in an after-school literacy program for third graders, and my second one was at a fast food place. So currently, um, college student, I write articles online. I spend most of my days just either reading, writing, schoolwork, and hanging out with my family. I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have a bookcase. It's like that black stack right there. It's actually a bookcase. <laughs> I've always been an avid reader. I am medicated for anxiety, so if I ever seem kind of anxious, it's probably because I am. <laughs> my future. I am hoping well, right now I am a I am majoring in elementary education. I am hoping that in a few years time I will have I will officially have my own classroom. Um, when I worked for the literacy program with the children, I necessarily feel like it was solely my classroom because we were based in the library. But the hope is that once I get my bachelor's degree, I will have my own class. I thought it might be fun to sort of just get into a rapid fire mode of just a few things about me. I am deathly allergic to nuts. I am a lover of tea. I always say that I want to spread out and broaden my horizons and try new ones, but then I try them and I, <laughs> I find that I don't really like them, so I usually just stick to black tea and I put honey in it. I have one guinea pig named Rosie, three dogs. I am a collector of mugs. I have an entire cabinet downstairs filled with mugs because I love tea, I love hot cocoa, I love just warm and cozy things, mostly. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to things, so I tend to stress myself out a lot. It's not one of my most admirable traits, but it's something that I'm trying to work on. My dream job <laughs> growing up, I wanted to work at an orangutan sanctuary. I first read about it in a book when I was in second grade and I vividly remember like being so fascinated and in awe by everything that I was seeing that I was just enchanted. I hope that you feel like you got to know me a bit better. I do have a really big family. Um, like I said, the third child out of six, but really it felt like 10. I hope that after leaving this video, you feel like, hey, we've made a solid connection and that 
throughout the rest of our time in this classroom, we're able to build upon it. Thank you for watching. I hope you are all having a nice day.